Hi. Welcome to the attic. It's a different setting today. Uh, setting today. I have made a heck of a mess around me. I'm going to show you what I have done, but to do that, I need to get over there to control the camera. So bear with me for a little zip. So let's zoom out. Well, <laughs> as I told, a mess. I'm going to move around a little. I'm going to show you what I did. This is my computer, which I use to edit the videos. Well, try to edit the videos. It has not been good enough to edit videos for the software I'm using. So I had to upgrade. So that's what I'm doing now. I have some stuff here. I have a cabinet there. And what do I have here? Let's see. I have some cable, keypad, mouse, anti-static wrap. In this box I have a power supply. And I have the CPU or the main processor. I have a cooler for the CPU. Hmm. A hard drive. A hard disk. Name uh, it is an SSD solid state drive. I have some memory. 30, uh, 32 gig of memory. Uh, yes, it has this RGB LED. I'm not going to use those. And we have the main board or the motherboard as we sell, as, as you say. Asus. And this, this I'm going to put together into one computer and hopefully going to be a lot better than the computer I had. Before we're going to do anything about this uh, computer assembling, and I have to do something else. You see this mat? This is uh, what we call anti-static mat and uh, it this one is grounded uh, to uh, to this house ground so it has this zero potential and i also have this uh, hand wrap which is going to be hmm. this one was more difficult than needed we're going to use this wrap and this one connected to this mat. But, but, this plug does not match to the mat. So, I got me another one. which has the same problem. It has this plug, but it also have this crocodile clip, which also is useless. 
So, what do you think I'm going to do about that? Well, the thing is, I have this on both of oh, the cables, and it fits on the mat. I have some tools. And I just ah. come on. <laughs> Need to use the knife today. that? What do we do about that? Let's see. I have my soldering iron. Switch on. We have some solder. And We need a helping hand. Have you done this before? Maybe. We are always pre-soldered, don't we? Like that. And the other one. Is this nylon thread with a little? It's a nylon thread with a little copper on. Hmm. I think we use it.
<laughs> this is going to be a little complicated, a little difficult because it is this kind of wire is very difficult to, to solder because of this nylon core. Try again. There. Okay. No use for the uh, for the solder station anymore. At least for not for today. What I'm going to do now is to. Crimp this a little and to use that. You use the blower. Oh god. Glasses? No, I got a little longer cable. Which I can connect to the mat. And connect to the wristband. Yeah, now I'm ungrounded. I have the same potential as this mat, which is zero potential from uh, this house. It's, it's grounded. So if ever I do anything which make me static electric, it will go to my body, out in this wristband, to the mat, and to the ground. So now I can work. Now I can work this uh, computer. So let's see what we have. I'm going to tie it up a little first. I was supposed to uh, to tell about what I was doing while I was working this computer to give a description of different components and explain what I'm doing and what and how I was doing it. But when I was sitting here editing the video and find out that the video was close to two hours long, then I decided I had to do something drastic. So I was speeding up a little uh, just to show you how to build a computer. As you see here, I have this main board and uh, on this main board, I'm going to place a lot of different components. I'm going to place a CPU uh, control process unit, I'm going to be in the center, you see the black spot there. I'm also going to place some uh, memory and uh, also this uh, solid state drive before I put it in the cabinet where I will finish uh, to add the, the cooler for the CPU and a whole bunch of cables. So 
lean back, enjoy. It is going to um, go fast, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, as you will see, it is not very difficult to to build a computer. It is just work, just a lot of work. And of course, you need to know what you're doing, but it is always a decent uh, work manual uh, attached with the parts. So enjoy. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to uh, rig this one up where I had my computer before and I'm going to install some operating systems and so on. But anyway, I think use my glasses so you can see me <laughs> I think so far this is enough for this episode and uh, if I have some more to to add then I can add in the next episode or some other episode because this computer I'm going to use for to edit videos only and uh, it's going to be dedicated to the work for this attic So I think I think I stop this uh, uh, this video this episode for uh, for today. It is already more than long enough, and uh, I don't know if you see it all, but <laughs> as as I try to show, uh, to build a computer is not that difficult as many will tell. You just have to pick the right components. Uh, I will, I will put the uh, the components what I have been using in this computer. I'm going to put down there. And uh, when you're talking about down there, down there is also a couple of buttons you should press. You have this like button. You have this this uh, this subscribe button, and you have this notification bell. To click so you get a notification next time there's a video posted on this channel so until next time have a nice day <laughs>